hey, 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 do not worry about them nooms and living. And also do not worry about what I'm wearing. Why? Because of if that strict Semnum Zane is not here, that definitely means this land is all ours. We are going to be doing a very simple experiment because of I think I overheard Semnum Zane saying he's planning on doing that river rejuvenation lesson. So I was like, okay, I think we should actually do some visual education. Try to remind you about what we call the river profile, the whole cycle of water because of we cannot fully understand river rejuvenation before understanding and fully understanding the river profile the cycle of water and actually i do have something that we'll be using to create our longitudinal profile actually let me show you guys yes okay guys as you can definitely tell these are the tools that we have and actually we have to use to try and create our whole water cycle all right guys firstly we can see by looking at this structure okay let me try to go closer hopefully you can definitely see me all right guys the first thing we see by looking at the structure is the fact that we have this what we call this area here this thing here what does this tell you when you see something that looks like this it definitely tells you that this is a longitudinal profile right it tells us the length of the river and it also shows us the gradient of the river bit yes guys it will tell us the gradient of this river is it steep is it gentle yes those kind of situations all right guys so firstly definitely as now we know that what shape do we call this this longitudinal profile this shape as you can definitely tell we call it a concave shape why a concave shape definitely because of it is steeper at the upper course and it is gentler when you move towards the lower course so definitely we do have our soil here and let me try to bring that camera closely because of without water how is the water cycle going to okay so we are going to try and build this whole structure by ourselves for two reasons only two the first one is to remind ourselves with the river profile lesson and the second one is to definitely be able to use the structure after sam numzane has taught us the theory of river rejuvenation so come through so we could definitely understand from the base of the river going up and everything about the river physically this is visual education make sure that you like this video if you do believe that semnum zane is a bit uptight like this view let me bring the camera closer so we could definitely unpack what's going to be happening here yes guys as i've definitely already said semnum zane has left us meaning we can do whatever we want with this land yes guys and the first thing i want us to do actually two of the best firstly is to remember the river profile and definitely the water cycle right those are the most important things and secondly i will have to build the structure why because of i definitely have to do the experiment when it comes to the river rejuvenation all right guys most of us and most of people just know that the ground usually consists of the soil that's what most people believe but then what we know is that underneath the soil there's definitely some layers and layers and layers which are definitely making what the water cycle to be possible all right firstly underneath we have what we call the base level this is where the ground water it is actually stored water cannot penetrate the base level yes guys and on top of the base level we have what we call sedimentary rocks we know sedimentary rocks we did them on great time. definitely we know them so i'm going to place sedimentary rocks the sedimentary rocks are those rocks that have gaps and space meaning water can be able to go through and what is that process where water goes through sedimentary rocks it is called the peculation yes guys let's start by obviously placing our sedimentary rocks right and we do not just place our sedimentary rocks eh -eh. we place them according to the courses of the river the upper course definitely has to have more sedimentary rocks because of we want the river to be steep from the upper course then as we move to the middle 
and the lower course, the sedimentary rocks can be just on a level plane. Right, let me try and place the sedimentary rocks. Placing our sedimentary rocks, definitely beautiful. Right, we place them, we place them. Right, okay guys, as you can tell, here they are much more steeper and here they are becoming a little more uh, gentle, right? Those are the two things, the steeper and gentle. It has to be a bit steeper, more steeper, right? Because of why is it steep? The upper course consists of what we call erosion, right? And erosion has to obviously flow on a quick speed. Let's try and place the sedimentary rocks. Ah, nice, nice, nice. They seem to be coming nicely. Okay, guys. After placing our sedimentary rocks, we definitely have to use this thing to get the direction in which we want to use, right? We place it. And what is this, guys? When you look at this, you can definitely tell that we are doing a longitudinal profile. Because of a longitudinal profile, tell us a river from its source until the mouth. So this will be the source of the river and this will definitely be the mouth of the river. Where there is an ocean here, the sea level. Alright guys, so we definitely have to start by doing what? Placing our very own soil. The only thing that you definitely think exists on our ground, the soil, right? Let's place it then. We try to place the soil, place the soil, place our very own soil, place our very own soil, very, very nicely, right? Place some soil, place some soil, place some soil. And what shape are we trying to create here? We are trying to create a concave shape where we have a steeper upper course and a gently lower course, right? That's the concave shape that we are trying to build here. And which profile? Do we want to create a graded profile or an ungraded profile? By the look of things, it looks like we want to create a graded profile. A graded profile simply means it is a smooth concave. It is a concave which is smooth. And the ungraded one, definitely means there are some temporary base there right we'll learn about those things and if you want to learn more about those things watch the video of river profile we did release before this one right so we definitely are placing our very own beautiful soil nice right this is how our drainage looks like or our longitudinal profile of this river looks like right Let's try and make it to be something stronger, a bit stronger, right? Yes, guys. And what is definitely soil or the ground without vegetation, right? We must have some vegetation, some kind of vegetation around here. And where do we usually find the vegetation? We find our vegetation around the catchment area right meaning the sides of the river this is where is the catchment area we find our very own vegetation right now we know our river is may, must be in the middle because of the vegetation on the sides and definitely on the upper course the river has to be steep and deep it cuts through because of it is eroding and then when it moves to the middle course it starts to open and maybe meander right and then when it moves to the lower course there are those deltas here why are those deltas because of now we find wet lands here this is where we'll learn about the catchment and also the river management so make sure that you like this video subscribe to my channel because of a lot of educational videos will be definitely coming through all right guys let's continue so we said we definitely find a meander in the metal course we know what a meander is. It is exactly when a river, it is bending. When the river it is bending, it is meandering. Yes, guys. And in the upper course, we said the river, it is much steeper, right? We know these things. We must watch that video 
so that we could better understand. Let's try and remove this thing. Do you think we should? Or should it, I just leave it for maybe a day or two until the day where we do the experiment of river rejuvenation? Mm -mm. Okay, let's continue. So this is definitely our river course in our longitudinal profile using our very own material. Okay, as we know that the upper course consists of erosion, what happens if maybe this water erodes this rock until maybe it stays here, right? Now the rock is staying here now, causing what we call maybe a waterfall or causing river rejuvenation as water it is obviously now gaining some power moving from an upper angle down right moving vertical to the river so obviously this was eroded and now it's stuck here when it is stuck here what do we now have when we are looking at this river this river profile this is no longer a graded it is an ungraded river profile now because of why because of we have now two levels we have this first level and then we have the second level which is the one within the sea level this is a temporary base level and this will be the permanent base level yes guys this is how base levels are created when there's erosion and now this this rock is stuck here or maybe the dam was built here right we know that the government can build dams and stuff like that maybe because of there's a river and what is this sharp area where the gradient it is changing what is this area here where the gradient it is sharply changing this is called our nick point yes guys this is our nick point we'll definitely learn about a lot when it comes to the catchment area the wetlands when we do the experiment of river rejuvenation and we cannot be done without water what is a river without water guys what is a river without water let's first start to speak about the water that comes from precipitation it comes through it it gets what we call this vegetation right this vegetation receives some water from the precipitation and it stores some of the water and when there's sun like today there will be what we call transpiration yes the process of transpiration whereby water vapor comes from our vegetation back into creating condensation and there's another precipitation so that's how the vegetation assists us with the water second obviously it is trans there's transpiration and then also there's evaporation this soil there will be some evaporation when there's obviously some water going through right and definitely when it reaches the river the much bigger river or the ocean there it will obviously also be evaporated up into creating another con condensation and precipitation occurs so that cycle continues and even remember there's water if it goes through there will be infiltration from soil to the rocks right that from no from the ground to soil that is infiltration and from soil to the rocks the sedimental rocks that is peculation and then the water it is now down in the base level the ground water will be flowing this direction until it reaches the sea level as well yes guys this is definitely how the water the cycle looks like i definitely feel like putting water here but then not yet guys i will definitely like this video put this video give this video so much love before we could start to put water here yes guys let's come back to me this is sam numzani and we definitely did do our experiment today so make sure that you like this video subscribe to my channel why because of we are going to be uploading a lot of beneficiary visual experimental videos if you do enjoy such videos make sure that you've already turned on that notification bell okay oh.